Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Sleet Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 1241, Numbers of Comments per Post. Okay, the GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram community and uh, YouTube IT page communities for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay. So let us see this question. Okay. They have given some submission table where some uh, sub ID is there and what is the parent of that sub ID it is given here. Okay. Let us see here. Write a solution to find the number of comments per post. Okay. Each post and some parent they are given. The result table should contain post ID and its corresponding number of comments. Okay. Okay. The submission table may contain duplicate comments. Okay. You should count the number of unique comments per post. Okay. Okay. What else is there? The submission table may contain duplicate posts. You should never, you should treat them as one post. Okay. The result table sh should be ordered by post ID in ascending order. Okay, let's come here. Here we can see some sub ID and respect to parent if it is available they have given us here think that um, if there is no parent id then that is the post if it is parent for any other thing it is the comment okay so let us come here we can see 1 2 1 12 okay so these are the post ids here each sub id has some parent id it means they are the comments for that post okay so what are the com uh, post ids here wherever the parent id is not there it is a comment so wherever if i filter for parent id is equal to null i will get this table so what are the things i will get 1 2 1 12 as unique post ids i want so let me remove this one so the post ids are 1 2 1 2 okay for these three things, I want the number of comments. Okay. So, let me come here. Here we can see. Uh, let me change this. Okay. Just a minute. My mistake. Here we can see. This is the table. And among them, where is that ID is present? We can see for 1 it is present. 2, 1, 1, and 1, and 2. Okay. We can see that the 12 is not present. Sorry. And the 7 is also not present. So, let me keep it as 7. So, let us exclude it. Okay. So, these are the things. Now, we can see 1, 1, 1. 1. So, what are the comments for 1? 3, 5, so not 5, 3, 4, and 9. Similarly, for 2, 5, and 10. 5, and 10. And 12, it is clearly not visible. Nothing is there. Nothing. Okay. As you can see, there is nothing to be counted. So, the number of unique things is 0 here. The number of unique things is 1 unique, 2 unique, 2 here. The number of unique things is this one. You can see, right, 3 is repeating again. So, the number of unique things is 3. So, that is what they are asking here. So, how to solve this question? First of all, we need to find the post IDs. So, step 1 is filter this parent id equal to null so this one will be there 
and take the unique sub ids okay that would be my step two uh, step one and what should be the step two i need to filter out for only that parent ids which are there in this step one okay only if it is there in this table i will need to filter it out okay next what should be the step three after filtering it for each unique thing in the parent id i need to count the unique sub ids okay let me code it up so let me write the step one so step one is equal to um, submissions where submissions parent id parent id is null let me see the table first of all I, I don't require any duplicate things right so let me remove the duplicates itself okay submissions is equal to submissions dot drop duplicates okay now let me return s1 submissions see we got the things right so what are the post ids we got it here they are 1 2 12 similarly what should be my step 2 my step 2 should be the submissions table where the parent id should be from the s1 so i will write submissions where parent id is in s1 tables sub id We got only that IDs which are there one, two, etc. Okay, but what is the issue? The issue is I can't find that twelve thing. Am I right? So let us do one thing. First, let us calculate this, and let us join it later. So this is my step two. And what is my step three? Step three is the S two table group by parent id and take the sub id unique dot n unique as i want a data frame let me reset index dot So clearly we can see here, right? It should be S3, not S2. So we got those things. Uh, where is the thing? Yeah, we can see parent ID 1 has three comments, parent ID 2 has two comments. But originally, what are the posts 1, 2, 12? So 12 is missing. So let me do one thing. Let me do a left join between S1 and S3 so that if any row is missing also I will get it. So S1 dot merge S3 comma how is equal to left because I want the non-matching rows also. Left left on is equal to sub ID right side table is equal to parent id see we got the tables but do i require everything no i want this sub id table and the parent idx table so i want this sub idx table comma 
parent id y table sub id x maybe yes so we got these two tables now what is the mistake here first thing is null values should be replaced with the zeros next thing is the column name should be changed so dot fill null values with a zero so the null problem is gone now rename the columns dot rename columns is equal to the old name is sub id x the new name is post id similarly the old name here is parent id y and the new name is number of comments etc that's it now let me check okay our sample case uh, there's a mismatch So let us check once again. We are removing the duplicates. Let me check where is the issue. First of all, we filtered for null values, so you will get only these things. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 12 you will get, okay. Next, S2 is equal to submissions parent ID, where it is in sub 1 ID, you will get 1, 2 only. Next, it will be 1, 2, sub ID dot N unique. So, it will give me 1, 3 as answer, 2, 2 as answer. Why it is showing one? Return S3. Okay, we are correcting correctly only. One, three is there, one, two is there. Check the column names. Okay, it should be sub ID X and uh, sub ID Y. My mistake. It should be sub ID Y. So column mistake name that's it now let me check for all the test cases okay one two three three any sorting they have asked okay the result table should be ordered by post id okay dot sort values Post ID. Okay, our query has finally successfully solved all the test cases and we have successfully solved the problem. And if you want the code output for this, it will be available in this GitHub repository along with the YouTube GitHub and question of lead code link. 
you can uh, get the link of this in the description below and if you're further interested in learning data science analytics machine learning nlp computer vision and generative ai stuff please fill in the google form below and my team will be contacting you soon and if you're preparing for data science interviews do check out this playlist it will be greatly helping you for further questions or doubts use this hashtag ask mlu prasad in the comment sections i will try to solve all your queries okay until then keep practicing guys